Don't let appearances fool you. This guy right here might look like a lizard, but he's not. Everyone meet the Tuatara, the sole survivor of an ancient reptile clade called Rhynchocephalia. They also get called living fossils because they have remained relatively unchanged for 200 million years. So one of the ways they're different from lizards is their ability to be in cold temperatures. Tuatara are native to New Zealand and they can withstand temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius, which at temperatures that low, reptiles usually need to go into brumation or hibernation. Also, a lot of it is down due to their anatomy, so their skulls are unique. And also, they actually chew like this, like a steak knife cutting into their meal, rather than chomping like lizards do. And these guys are more enlightened than all of us because they have a third eye at the top of their head that you can actually see when they're babies. And then when they're older, their skin grows over top of it. It's used to detect light, so it could help their circadian rhythm, their hormones, and also detect for predators. It's not unique to Tuataras. Other reptiles have this. But apparently it's more developed. Don't know how real that is, but it's still cool. They are also nocturnal. They can live for a hundred years. They don't get sexually mature until they're about 20, which is not good for them because this actually makes them very, very vulnerable to threats like climate change, habitat loss, and invasive species. In fact, when human settlers came to New Zealand, they brought rats with them. And these rats eat tuatara eggs and they have literally wiped them out from most of New Zealand. Tuataras used to be distributed all across New Zealand, but thanks to these guys, they are now restricted to just a few islands. So yeah, now you know, next time someone sees one of these guys and is like, wow, look at that cool lizard, you can be like, uh-uh, that is a tuatara. Girl, that is a living fossil.